look that I'm wearing right now. I wanted to do something very summery, even though it's not summer yet. Not even close. But I wanted to play around with warm tones, and for some reason when I was going through my collection, this eyeshadow really called my name. It's Coastal Scents Deep Cantaloupe. That's what's all over my lid right now. I rarely reach for warm tones. If you are a watcher of my channel, you know this. I'm obsessed with my taupes and my grays and my mauves. I, I love the cool vibes. So I wanted to do something very summery, very tan, very warm toned, goldy, orangey. You get the picture. I also wanted to play around with some type of little double liner thing going on. So this is what I came up with. And and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm starting off with Makeup Geek Chickadee. It's a nice orangey shade and I'm using this in the crease sort of as a transition shade. I'm using the ColourPop blending brush, which I have been absolutely loving recently, but I'm gonna talk more about it in my favorites video. But I am just buffing that back and forth and in circular motions to get a nice blown out orangey crease. Then I'm taking Desert Sands, also by Makeup Geek, which is just a little bit deeper, a little bit more wearable. And I'm gonna tuck that in my crease a little bit more precisely than I did the previous shade, just to get that really blown out sort of gradient look. Now I'm grabbing a Coastal Sense shadow. This is called Light Tangerine. It is a neon orange. Picking it up on the very same brush and I'm gonna buff that in my crease all over the place, pretty much. I just wanted to really saturate my crease with that orangey sort of vibe that I was going for, and then I decided that it wasn't yet bright enough, so I grabbed Bright Yellow. This one's also by Coastal Scents, and I'm just buffing that on the very outer edge of the whole look, just to make it look, like I said, very gradient and blown out. Now I'm grabbing Desert Sands again, and tucking that in my crease, just defining everything a little bit more and intensifying it. And now I'm buffing Chickadee out on my lower lash line. And then I'm grabbing a bright yellow once again and I'm gonna buff that out on my lower lash line as well to make it, you guessed it, gradient. Now I'm grabbing my Stargazer powder. It's in the shade White. I got this off of Amazon for super duper cheap. And I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm grabbing the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cottage Cheese, and I'm gonna pop that all over my lid to use as sort of a sticky, sort of shimmery base for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna go in with on top, which I mentioned in the intro, and this is Coastal Scents Deep Cantaloupe. Now I'm grabbing Desert Sands once again, and I'm just gonna tuck that in my crease once again just to intensify it a little bit more. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using a Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop. This is in the shade Smoke and Whistles. Now for the double winged liner, I'm grabbing the Revlon Eye Art. This one is in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I'm gonna use a very defined angled brush to create a wing. Now I'm picking up my all-time favorite liquid liner. This is the NYC liquid liner in the shade Extreme Black. And I'm going to basically just create a wing with this as well, but I'm keeping it a little bit more toward my lashes. So with the previous liner, I sort of made it super thick so that I still had space for another layer of liner, if that makes any sense. And then I went back in with that Topaz Twinkle shade and just intensified it over top of the black. And then I went in with the black again and intensified it underneath the gold. For mascara, I'm using this one I got in my BoxyCharm. This is the Doucet Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I do really like this mascara. I don't think I'd ever pay full price for it because I think that the drugstore has amazing mascaras, but I do like it. Now I am popping a white eyeliner in my waterline just to really help brighten and open up my eyes. And for lashes, I'm using these long arse lashes. I swear these get caught in my eyebrows. And after I wait a second for the lash glue to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on using some tweezers. Now for my lower lashes, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational, my all-time favorite drugstore mascara. 
Moving on to the face, I'm using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Bet you couldn't guess it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze up the skin with this around my cheekbones and my temples, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Now I'm taking my Milani Baked Bronzer. It's in the shade Glow, and I'm basically gonna pop that right on top of the bronzer that I just put down. This has a little bit more of a sheen to it. It makes me look a little bit more summery, a little bit more tan. And as you can see, I took it down way too far, so I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm just gonna use my sponge that I use for my foundation to bake underneath that bronzing that I just did. And then I'll wait a few minutes and then wipe it away. Now for blush, I'm using Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. This blush is really beautiful. It's super cheap. It does have some glitters throughout it, but if you tap off your brush, those will fly off. And then I'm putting a matte blush on top of it. I'm someone who has cystic acne and my problem areas are on my cheeks. So anything that's too glowy or too glittery will really just emphasize that. So I'm using this matte shade to sort of tone it down a little bit. I'm using the same highlight that I used on my inner corners on my cheekbones and on my nose and on my cupid's bow. Now I'm grabbing my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter, which I got in my BoxyCharm, and I am so excited about. I literally just swiped my brush in it very, very gently because it, it's borderline too dark for me, but I still can make it work. It also has a bunch of kick up, so I am very gentle when I stick my brush in the pan. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. Now I'm gonna go in with this crazy lip combo. First I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Kristen. I'm lining my lips as well as filling them in with this shade. It's so beautiful, perfect for spring and summer. Now I'm going in with Dose of Colors Bear With Me. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to dry 100% before I go in with my gloss, which is Fairy Floss by ColourPop. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time.